Hi, in our earlier video, we discussed about the indentation. Now in this video, we are going to discuss about code layout, which is another component in Python enhancement proposal. Now what is code layout is? We will see that in a live demonstration. Now there are three areas where we need to focus when it comes to a code layout in Python enhancement propos proposal standard. The first one is two blank lines. Now what do I mean by two blank lines? When you're having a module, so what module means is one single Python script file. And in that particular file, if you're going to have multiple block statements like class block, function block and so on, how do we differentiate those multiple classes by leaving the appropriate uh, blank lines? in order to improvise the readability of the code. The first example that we have to see here in the two blank liners, I'm going to declare a class. Uh, we are not into the object-oriented programming of Python yet. So temporarily, you will just capture the uh, block indentations and the uh, code layouts. But further, we will have an exclusive session on uh, object-orientedness in Python. There we will discuss more in detail about what classes, what objects is and so on. So now there is a class called full time employee. And uh, I'm going to leave this class uh, empty so that I'm using a keyword called pass. And you can notice that there is an indentation being done here, a four spaced indentation. And uh, in the next line, I'm going to start another class called part time employee. And here again, I'm going to leave the class empty. And I'm going to have a standalone function, a function which is not embraced within the class. Okay, it's ideally going to be a standalone function, nowhere related to any of these classes that we have written. So I'm going to define that function called calculate mean median is the function name. And I'm using what here is uh, uh, snake case. Okay, you have to recall that whenever I'm using the naming standard, it's a, a snake case that we are using. And if you look at the class, it's your uh, Pascal case. Okay, now here again, I'm going to leave this function empty. If you look at this code, this code seems to be too clumsy, right? In a single module of your Python, where I've written a full-time employee class, a part-time employee class, and a standalone function, which is not embraced within your class. If it's a part of a class, we are going to call it as a method. I believe in the earlier video, I discussed about it. When a function is written inside a class, it's going to be denoted as a method. But right now, it's not a method. It's a function because it's isolated from the class itself. Now, okay, let's come back to the point of code layout. So two blank line of code layout meaning is when you have a block statements like this, it's better to leave two blank lines. Okay. And uh, if you are going to start another class, you better have two blank lines. It's a standalone function. So I'm using a two blank line. If in case you're going to have one more standalone function, then it's better you can give two blank lines and then start your statement. So define another function, another function, okay? So this seems to be more readable uh, when compared to the earlier statements that we have written. So what we mean to say from the code layout is how many number of blank lines to be left while you are writing multiple class and a top level functions in your module, means in your Python file, dot uh, py file if you're going to write multiple classes and multiple standalone functions in it you better separate them with a two blank line and that's called as uh, a code layout another standard of code layout is all about single blank line so when do we leave a single blank line when you're writing methods inside a class okay so for example i'm going to create a class called uh, full-time employee, full-time employee, and this class is not going to be left empty. I'm not going to use the keyword called pass, rather I'm going to define a function. 
the very first function will be started in the immediate next line of your full-time employee class defining it as a monthly salary so again i'm using a snake case here if you notice and we use a keyword called self because this represents the current instance of the class we will discuss this about uh, the self more in detail uh, in the later videos so this function is going to be left blank the next what I'm supposed to do is create another function called yearly bonus and this again going to carry its uh, self argument and this function also going to be left blank. Now if you look at this code, this function, these functions which are embraced, I'm sorry, uh, we are not supposed to call this a function as it is embraced inside your class. So we need to call it as a method. So it's, it's good that we come up with uh, errored statements like functions again and again so that we will be notified that we have to rectify that statement of calling a function as a method when it is embraced within the class. So when you are inside the class, you are supposed to call the function as a method technically. So these are methods. Method 1 and this is your method 2. Okay. Now, Technically speaking, we have to approach this as a single blank line separation. Otherwise, it's, again, the code seems to be clumsy or it's, it's more of a, a, a cluttered. Now, we need to declutter it, right? So, we have to give a single line, a uh, single blank line between the functions inside a class. I'm sorry, between the methods inside the class. So, whenever you are defining a methods inside a class, you need to have a single blank line between the methods. But you will not leave a blank line uh, in your uh, between the class and a method unless you want to declare any variable of class level. Otherwise, you will start the first method immediate to the next line of your class statement itself. But between the multiple functions, you need to ensure that you are leaving one blank line. Uh, I might be repeatedly using function wherever I'm using function actually technically it is going to be called as a method so ensure that we call the function as a method inside a class so when a statement comes in the pep saying that methods need to be left with single blank line what it means is inside a class you might have too many methods each and every method have to be separated with single blank line now, coming to your uh, next uh, code layout standard is clear steps. So, the first one what we saw was two blank lines between the classes in a module and a function in, inside the module as a standalone function. Then you are supposed to use two blank lines between them. But when it comes to a methods inside a class, uh, each method have to be separated with a single blank line. Now, what is this clear steps is all about? Clear steps would look like this. I have a predefined code. If you look at this uh, critical code, it, it looks to be too, uh, I mean, too complicated to understand. When I have a code like this, which is going to calculate a variance, I'm actually writing the code in this fashion. Now, if you look at this code, this code seems to be too clumsy. It's not clearer to read, right? So you have a two major uh, uh, algorithmic definitions being defined here, okay? So one, if you look at this part, this is one set of statement uh, which does certain operations in it. And you have another set of statement which does another uh, uh, executional uh, state. Uh, it's an executional statement. And you have the third statement which is a return. So this can be grouped uh, together. But if we are grouping all the three statements together, it seems to be too clumsy and it's it, or it's it's so cluttered so we need to declutter them so how you can declutter it by giving a single blank line i'm sorry we have to start the blank line from here now again you have a written statement right so don't start the written statement of the function immediately to the previous statement if because written statement is going to be the last statement of your function so in that case you are going to uh, provide a single blank line according to this uh, code 
your written statement stays as the last statement because always it might not be true because you might have a written statement written inside an if block and then you will have another uh, elif block or you might have an else block that 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 is ideally different but according to this code this written statement stays as a last statement so the first code of block will be this you separate it with one blank line so you have a clear steps and second block and then you have a, another one blank line you can write another uh, set of block and you give one blank line and then go with the written statement so the idea here is when you have too many lines of code to be written you better have a segmentation of that code segment one segment two segment three and between those segments of codes inside your function you better have a single blank line so that your step seems to be more clearer and while I'm looking at the code itself uh, you should feel that uh, the code uh, is more understandable is more readable it should motivate you to read the code uh, as you go along so if you look at all the three standards of coding the first one is two blank lines uh, code layout standard the second is single blank line uh, code layout standard and the third one is clear steps in your code layout. So code layout, it's pretty clear to understand. Your code have to be laid out uh, with proper blank lines. I'm not talking about indentation here. Nowhere I'm talking about the indentation. Indentation video is over. In the earlier video, we, do, we talked in detail about the indentation, which carries the four spaces standard of uh, indentation. Okay. Now, if you see, again, there is an indentation here because it's a for loop. For loop immediate line will be left with uh, four uh, spaces one two three and four okay so now the idea here is while we are laying out these codes properly it becomes more readable so again the python enhancement proposal is targeting on high readability of code so with this i end this note of code layout in the next video we are going to discuss about the comments that's going to be the last component that we are going to discuss under the video series of Python enhancement proposal.